Kia ora and welcome along to Monday the 10th of July's national forecast from Met Service. We'll start off by taking a look at the satellite picture. You can see this band of cloud wrapping up that eastern coast around this area of low pressure way off towards the north and east. That's sticking with us as we head through the rest of the day. It's going to keep a bit more cloud on that eastern side. But generally we are back into a fairly good southwesterly feed of air, which means more showers for those areas exposed to the south and the west, places like Northland as we head through this afternoon. Could well find some more thunderstorms in store as we head through the evening time in that first part of the night. But you can see this feature is just off of that eastern coast. More cloud up through Hawke's Bay, up in towards Wairapa as well. And I think we'll keep hold of a few showers as well. As we go through in towards the night time, you can see we generally have that southwesterly with us. Plenty of dry weather across the south side and across the majority of the north side as well. We'll find no a touch more cloud through Wairapa down towards Banks Peninsula and Canterbury. And we'll keep those showers around those western facing coasts of the North Island as well. In terms of our temperatures, well, it's nothing too cold compared to what we saw last week. We're still back down to around about ones and twos in the far central parts of Otago, down towards places like Queenstown, but a cold start, not, a, not as cold and frosty as we saw last week. Up on the North Island, lows of around about seven degrees Celsius, relatively mild indeed for the time of year. As we go through in towards that early hours of the morning for tomorrow, you'll find we are going to start off with that cloud and uh, wet weather around wired up. That clears away. We'll still have those showers up north. They'll ease off. But then that next system runs in with this next cold front that runs in towards the far south. So we'll find the wet weather returning towards places like Fjordland and Southland. And with that cold air, we'll find a bit of snow for about the tops of the higher ground, but really about the tops of the mountains more than anything else. Good news for the ski fields, but I think for the majority of us, I think we'll find it's a, a bit of a, a gap between these two systems as the showers clear away. And this next one just runs in from the south and the west. So let's have a look at the North Island. We start off with that cloud through Wellington and Wired Up, and that starts to pull away. And generally a good looking day in terms of dry and bright through the likes of Gisborne and across towards most of the Bay of Plenty. That western side, though, We'll keep hold of more cloud through here, right away from Northland down through Auckland and in towards Taranaki. Touch more cloud and a few showers to watch out for, especially about the tops of the high country and just about that eastern, that far western coast as we head through the daytime. But some good gaps between them. I think those showers just become a little fewer and farther between as we head towards the afternoon. But generally the best of the brightness, Bay of Plenty, Tarafti, and down in towards Hawke's Bay as well. And the wide upper once that cloud clears away. As we go down towards the south island, we are going to find there's still plenty of dry weather there, but the temperatures for the north island at the best highs around about 17 degrees Celsius out towards or Hawke's Bay, places like Wellington, 12 degrees Celsius, and your lows overnight, 7 degrees Celsius. As I was saying, for the south island, we start off with some dry weather. Still a fair bit of cloud around the likes of, say, Canterbury, and perhaps a bit of patchy drizzle around the likes of Banks Peninsula to start off with. A few showers down that western coast as well. They'll clear off bit of a break ahead of this next feature, but you can see as we head through the afternoon, the cloud starts to thicken back up again through Fjordland and Southland, and that rain pushes in from the far south and the west as well. And that's more persistent, more widespread around that western coast, a bit more of a patchy affair through parts of Southland and Otago. But even up in towards Canterbury, we'll find the cloud increasing again as we head through the night time. Here are our temperatures at for the south line. Highs in there in Christchurch, around about 13 degrees Celsius. It is cooler air coming back towards us. Our nighttime lows are back to around about 1 or 2 degrees Celsius through Canterbury. As we head on in towards Wednesday, we're back in that southwesterly feed where this front's moving north with bringing more showers back towards the, particularly the western side of the north lines. Down south, you can see we've got more showers pushing on those southwesterly. So, the South Island's going to act as a bit of a block. So places like Canterbury perhaps not getting an awful lot in terms of rainfall. And for that eastern side of the North Island looking pretty good as well, especially if you're planning to head out and see Matariki in the early hours of the morning. One thing to bear in mind, this air is coming up from the south, so it will be a cooler affair. We are going to find snow perhaps down to around about four or 500 metres through parts of Southland and Otago. Good news again for topping up the, uh, the tops of the ski fields, but I think it's going to be a bit of a cooler, showery southwester, which is the main theme as we head through this week. That's it from me, Kia Pai Tara.